Hey, it's a game of Skull Mystic. No matter where you go in this game, for the longest time, you have heard complaints about things wrong, things this, things that, things that need fixing. Why can't we have this? Why can't we do that? There are, I admit, a lot of complaints about Wizard 101, it seems like, these days. Well, instead of just complaints, I am here in this video to offer some solutions. This is the top five ways that I can think of to revive Wizard 101, to make it a more viable, playable game like it was in the old days. Now, I'll be the first to admit, this game is not what it was in the old days. The old days, the, the old days being back in the early, early years of 2008, you know, those many, many moons ago, when this game was groundbreaking, when it was interesting, when it was the game to play and people flocked from all over and plunked down their hard-earned dollars and played the living bejeepers out of it. We could. It is possible, I think. Maybe we can't quite go back to that, but there's a lot of ways in which we can revive that feeling, that, that well, that vibe of the older days. Number one on my list of top five ways, let's face it guys, Wizard 101 is advertised, except for in the fine print, as free to play. Now there is a way in which we could make Wizard 101 free to play. I don't know how many of you are familiar with World of Warcraft and, and its gaming system and its payment system and things like that. Sure, you buy the expansion, just like you buy the worlds here, but they have an amazingly awesome and innovative idea whereby that company can still make money and yet you can, if you possess the necessary skills, play literally for free. I have played Warcraft actually since about the time I started playing Wizard 101. I've been playing both of them about the same number of years, but I haven't paid to play Warcraft in about two years now. What they implemented was a game token system where you can buy real game time for in-game gold. How does that sound? Okay, now the way that works is people who have the money to buy memberships and buy crowns and buy whatever else and things like that, buy that kind of stuff. You know, maybe they don't have the skills to make the game gold that they need. And, well, just in this game, just like in any other game, you need a lot of game gold for various things. To buy pets, to buy mounts, to buy gear, to buy potions, to buy reagents, etc., etc., etc. You know what I mean. There's an economy to this game, just like there is to any other game and actually real life. The way that system works is, those people buy game tokens, which is like real life game time, or in this case, it would be crowns or memberships or what have you. They buy those and they put those on the Warcraft auction house. And people who have the game gold buy those. That way, the people who have the cash but not the skills to get their game gold or whatever other resources they may need can get that kind of stuff. That way, the people who don't have the money to buy game time or buy crowns or buy resources but they know this game backward and forward, inside and out, and they can come up with whatever they need, gold, reagents, gear, what have you. You know, and you don't even have to, you know, you wouldn't, you don't even have to buy your game time or your tokens or your crowns or whatever for game gold. You could trade gear the people need. You could trade reagents the people need. You know, amber farming is a thing. People are always wanting amber. So it doesn't even just have to be game gold. It can be any kind of a resource that you can find in the game that you can trade for real life game time. I think that that one idea alone would hugely revive this game because I know of right now a ton, ton, ton of people who hang out in the commons and they only play as far as the free play allows. Free play in this game is, well, well, it's not really what you think of whenever you think of a free play game. This game, for being what it is, so far as I can tell you, is more expensive than most any other game in its class. And it doesn't have the same things to offer. Now, King's Isle, guys, I love you to pieces. I'm really not slamming on you. I'm 
honestly, I'm telling the truth the way it is, guys. This was an awesome game in 2008, but we're about to be in 2018. And things have changed, and we need to change. The players need to change, and the developers need to change, and the game needs to change. The things that we do need to change if you want this game to keep going. And I think that game time for game gold or other resources, you know, and on a swap, I'm not saying anybody needs to get robbed, but I think that a game time for game resources thing would be an excellent trade. It would encourage a lot more people to level up. It would encourage a lot more people to go to more levels. It would encourage a lot more people to do a lot more things. It really... I can't see where that would be a bad idea. Okay. And as far as we talk about free in the game, it's like that free to play. Guys, why can't we just release Wizard City and make it free to play? You don't have to release the whole game and make it free. But Wizard City isn't all that big in the first place. And why not just release Wizard City? I mean, let's let's talk about, you know, that's the oldest content in the game. We're talking about the... <laughs> We're back in the yesterday, day before yesterday. Forget back in the day. We're back in the yesterday and day before yesterday and last month and all that. Okay, this content, Wizard City itself, is old. Old, old. Sure, it leads on to other things, but make it free to play. It's, you know, it's not that... As big as this game is now, it's not all that much to release. Let's make that part free to play. Okay, that's my ideas for the free to play part and easier play to play part. Let's also talk about that there drop rate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've been farming Omen. Oh, even better. Here's, here's my personal favorite. You've been farming Darkmoor. This is your 100th run, and you cannot get a piece of Darkmoor gear. You don't have the crowns to plunk down there in that chest. You know, your, your money's tight. You can't be plunking down some $10 in a clip trying to get your Darkmoor gear. Guys, Let's make the drop rate sliding. Okay, sure, you can't get it in the first run. Maybe you can't get it in the 10th run. How about if on your 25th or 50th run or 100th run or something like that, the bloody drop rate slides, curbs a little bit, becomes a little bit easier. I feel that somebody who has run Darkmoor 50 times has earned a better drop rate than we start with because, wow, is that bad boy tight. That is tighter than a crab's booty in January completely. The drop rate is so tight that one of these days it's going to just implode. It's going to, it's going to suck in itself and cease to exist because, guys, wow, that drop rate. Let's make it a sliding scale. Let's change that. You know, I can, right now, I can tell there's 50 people watching this video going, hoorah, let's change that drop rate because I know y'all been victims of, that, of a bad loot table or a really big loot table and getting all kinds of crap, all kinds of trash and junk that you don't need and not getting your gear that you did want. So if you're one of those people in the comments section, give me a big hoorah because I'll bet you're there. All right, let's see. Another one, and this was, guys, this is a big one too. Yeah, I think it's time. I'm not saying go hog wild. Maybe it's time to ease restrictions a little bit and ease punishments a little bit. I know people do things they shouldn't do in the game. And sure, if you're doing something serious like threatening to kill somebody or threatening to sexually assault somebody or doing something like that, I can see where you need a banning or a muting or whatever else. I can understand that. But guys who say Sky Ape or, you know, any of those kind of things that aren't really like dangerous to somebody's life or something like that. Do you gotta ban them for it? Do you gotta mute them for 3,000 years until like somebody digs up their corpse as a mummy and then they're finally allowed to speak? Do we gotta do that? I think that if we eased up on restrictions or eased up on slam bans or eased up on mass bans and eased up on just punishing people, it seems like there's so much punishment in this game. And folks, I understand Somebody doing something really bad needs to be punished, but we're already on a we're already on a downward slide so far as subscriptions and active players and content and so many other things. Slam banning people just really adds to that negative vibe, and God, the game can't take it. Captain, she can't take it anymore. Please stop it. 
So how about a little bit of re easing on restrictions? You know, think about that. I know that your filter wants to mute people automatically for doing things, especially, and here's the big one, that spam reporting thing. That filter should be required to check the logs and see what was actually done before somebody gets muted on a spam report. Spam reporting gets taken advantage of so bad. And it, guys, it's got to quit. It's got to stop. It really does. Oh, one more thing on this. This is, this is almost a rant video. It really, I admit it, it almost is. But let's do one more thing. And this one isn't so bad. I'll, I'll kind of end on a softer, gentler note. How about that? I won't yell quite as loud. <laughs> let's go for some diversification. Let, let's... One of the most enjoyable things about this game, or one of the things that people enjoy most, one of the activities they enjoy most, is glitching. Do you know why that is? Because it allows people to personalize. It allows people to create something themselves and do something themselves that they feel is unique or spectacular or just downright cool. That being the case, let's take that idea a little bit further. Let some of the characters do some diversification of things. You know, we, there's a certain set of clothes. Sure, there's a lot of different clothes. And there's dyes, and, and, and you've gotten better about that, sure. But how about you let, how about we have, okay, here's a good one. How about we have a barber shop in Wizard City, and you allow people to change their hairstyles, you know, based on any number of combinations. Maybe somebody wants to have a pink mohawk. Let them. Why not? Maybe somebody wants to have themselves a braided ponytail and a bald scalp like the, like the Chinese, uh, like the Shaolin guys used to do. Let them. Why not? Do you know how much creativity and diversification and just plain fun that would be? You know, let somebody not only dye their clothes, but maybe they want to take it into the tailor shop and change what the cut of it is, change what the look of it is. You know, maybe they want a jacket like mine. I think this is the only, well, actually, this, so far as I know, this is the only short sleeve jacket I can think of. Okay. So let's add some diversification. Let people express their creativity. Now, mind you, I'm not, I'm not advocating let somebody run naked and streak across the commons. I'm not. But nonetheless, let them shine. Let their ideas come out. Let them be allowed to show people what their ideas and designs are. I think you'll find a lot more enthusiasm in that than you will for slam bands. I think you will. Any game, including this game, any MMO, that's just it. Multiplayer. Okay? The multiplayer atmosphere can it be a positive atmosphere. It can be a negative atmosphere. And you guys, the game devs, have a lot to say on which way that atmosphere goes. Right now, we're sliding into a lot of negativity, unfortunately. But we can change that. It's up to you guys. This is just some thoughts I've had on how to make this game better. Top five ways... Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, a good hard smash. You know what? Hit it a few times. Why not? I can use all, I know it doesn't work that way, but I can use all the likes I could get. That's for sure. All right. Until next time, this is Skeleton Mystic reminding you that whatever else you do, always love the game. Peace. Hey, what's up, Skeleton Mystic? I am here today in Avalon. I've already done the fishing quest line, but I had to come back for more because I wanted to see what all fish Avalon had to offer this time. And let me be the first to tell you, folks, this place has fish to offer. There is fish in every water hole, well,